two people will win um, a trip with me, 60 to 80 clutches this season that could possibly make that red snake that Brian Barczyk has been talking about. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Man, how crazy were those uh, those vlogs I did out there in Mexico? Weren't they pretty crazy? Man, I'm telling you, man, the whole industry out there is so mind-blowing and I love the fact that I'm gonna be traveling there at least once a week every month until everything gets you know sorted out. If you guys are following me on my Instagram or if you guys are following me on my Patreon, as you guys know that everything got finalized as far as you know shipping and holding all the snakes over there in Mexico, which you know I'm gonna get more into detail on that. Also, we dropped another uh, Patreon tier on my Patreon page where man we're doing a lot of crazy giveaways out there um, we're gonna be doing some fully paid trips out to uh, the Arlington show Tinley show two people will win two times wait no two people will win um, a trip with me and we're gonna be doing that giveaway annually um, so we'll be doing that what has that word turtle? Twice a year. Twice a Two year. Two people twice a year. So Two people, people twice a year. Four people total. Sorry. <laughs> Did I just get I just came back from Mexico yesterday. I have not been sleeping well. And also we'll be doing giveaways. Uh two snake giveaways are valued at three thousand dollars. Then we're gonna be doing a YouTube starter pack uh giveaway, social media uh pack giveaway. Yeah, package, yeah. Which is gonna include a laptop, camera. Uh, three months uh, shout out on help, you know, uh, starting up your channel. And yeah, we're doing a lot of crazy stuff on there. And still, the cool thing, the cool thing about it is that you still get your money back, you know, as long as it goes in towards a snake. So that's pretty crazy. Go check that out. But guys, um, look at this. We ultrasound today, and we were we were a little nervous. We always get nervous every year. We're always you know floating around twenty to thirty, you know, clutches. But uh, everything that has a black uh, tag, you know, big shout out to track tags. Even though we did not order enough black ones, that just shows I that know. girls are 100 percent gonna go but uh let's count these together um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oops forget about that one eleven okay twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44, 45. We just didn't have enough uh, clips on there. Plus four that we already have. That's 49 clutches that 100% sure will be going. And then on top of that, we have about 25 females that are still building that are from 14 to 9, uh, 19 millimeter follicles. So I think we're gonna be floating around 60 to 80 clutches this season. Man, that is so freaking crazy. I'm telling you guys, I'm super, super excited. But um, as you guys can see on the title, this is the clutch that could possibly make that red snake that Brian Barczyk has been talking about. Um, let me get this ready. Let me show you the female and I'll talk about this pairing. And I'm gonna tell you something that actually scared me about this uh, about this uh, clutch right here. This female has always been just a horrible, and I mean horrible eater. Um, she's, uh, I mean, honestly, I think she's probably ate for me five times this this season. Even when she was breeding and everything, she was just never a heavy eater. As you can see, uh, we weighed her before we um, before, and she was around. I think like 1,056 grams. We'll weigh her right now after this. I wanna say she's around 800, 900 grams. But yeah, um, she's a double head albino sunset bred to a double head albino sunset. So with four eggs, you know, we have one in four chances of hitting that, you know, double visual, which I mean, I, I mean I'll mean, i be super excited. I mean, I've seen people hit, you know, one uh, uh, double visual off of one egg and that was Matt Byron with that sunset clown. But uh, yeah, guys, let's pull this clutch out and, um, you know, go from there. So I'm gonna put the camera down because we need to do a lot of moving out here. And if Tina lets me do, she's gonna be because I'm gonna make a big, big disaster. I'll show you guys some snake in the meantime. Man, she is angry. So here's some snakes that are 100% going. This female right here is a pastel yellow belly inchy GNX pied bred to a special pied. We have this vanilla pied right here. She was bred to a ODYB inchy GNX pied. We have another vanilla pied. And she was bred to a GHI yellow belly pie. Um, what else is going right here? Let me see. This Cypress Hypo. She was bred to a black pastel hypo clown head desert ghost. Oh, these are the crazy ones right here. Check this out. Right here we have a yellow belly lace 
um, Het Clown, bred to a Sunset Clown. Next we have a Mojave Stranger Het Clown, bred to a Yellow Belly, Red Stripe, Spot Nose Clown, and also bred to a Fire Cypress Clown. So I mean, both males were pretty powerful, so we're gonna see what actually got her. And then we have a Super Inchy Jungle Woma Clown, bred to a Spot Nose, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly Clown. Then we have this Clown, Bred to a ODYB Desert Ghost Het Hypo. This is gonna be a really, really cool one. Right here we have a Mystic Leopard Blade Clown bred to a Spot Nose Red Stripe Yellow Belly Clown. Dude, it's crazy, man. This one as well. I mean, dude, I'm so excited. Right here we have a Chocolate Clown bred to a Spot Nose Red Stripe Yellow Belly Clown, but also bred to a Fire Cypress Clown. So we're gonna see who's the one that got her. I mean, I ain't gonna be mad because I mean, both of the males are freaking awesome. And then we have this uh leopard orange dream yellow belly clown 100 head pied bred to a orange dream fire clown 100 head pied and yeah all these females are 100 going to be going I mean, look at this dude this is so freaking sick man i mean so many stuff is out here that's going to be laying i am super super excited turtle are you excited i'm really excited did you miss me turtle from mexico oh my god it's crazy you're not here you're all it's now. so crazy you guys, if you, you if you guys follow me on uh, on uh, on Instagram, you guys knew that you guys saw that I almost freaking bit the big one, dude. I got so sick, I had to be hospitalized for you know half of a day over there, man. It was pretty crazy. I'll get that you know one of these days. But yeah, let's get going with this. Or do you want to pull the clutch out? No, you got yeah, this. Yeah, I already got tagged. <laughs> you did. You missed it, guys. The and then, streak is over. No, actually, <laughs> the streak is not over because I actually did that because I candled them. You know, it wasn't me pulling them out. So you know. Oh, okay. So it doesn't count. Okay, you crossed. I mean, whatever you made it. Put you right here. I want to weigh her afterward, just because I get an idea. Just cover up right there. So yeah, because right away, I honestly thought when we were gonna have this clutch, I was literally thinking they were gonna be, um, you know, uh, um, they were gonna be fertile. So I was like, man, right away, I just had to, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, candle them. Candle them, man. Everything looked good. We'll recandle them again right now. But let me, um, let's go, girls. Aggressive, man. I'll put this over here. Let me get the uh, scale. Put that back up there, turtle. Oh, you can't, you can't. There, here, hold on. I'm gonna put this right here. Let me put this back over here. All right, so now let's uh, weigh this girl. So you gotta see how big she is. Of course, people are gonna give me crap. Like, oh man, you're breeding them too young. Yeah, well too bad. Do something about it. <laughs> just funny, just funny. Don't do something about it, I don't wanna fight. I hate to lay hands on someone. Okay. Dude, I'm a mess. You're just tired, you know? Yeah. This guy doesn't sleep at all. You should have seen like the night that he came home. All right, here we go. Ready? 919 grams, and she gave me four good eggs. I'm telling you, man. I mean, but look, I wasn't trying to starve her or anything. She was just never been a good, uh, a good eater. So, yep, let me put her here. Then let's get a red Where's clip. It? Again, big shout out to uh, Track Tags right there. Let me just get a full clean. Let me put this away. And now, let's candle these bad boys. Get these little eggs. Look at that embryo. Nice brittle eggs. Oh, there we are. Dude, it's so crazy because she did not eat, man. She's a horrible eater. Man, I hope we hit the double visual. I mean, that will be crazy. I just want to see if it really makes that red snake or if it's going to just make like a like an orangey snake. Yeah, same here. I want to see the bright red. If I hit more than two, I'm going to give one to Brian Barczyk. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, Turtle. The next round is yours. And then we'll talk about the other clutch that you pulled out while I wasn't here. All right, so this is clutch number what? Five. five. Yeah. Clutch number five. Get, again, this right here is our clutch cards. Oh, you still need to write these down. Then yeah. we'll head out to the, uh, I'll just say the elevator, to the, <laughs> to the incubator. Wishful thinking. Yeah. Maybe in the future. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. So, while I was gone, Turtle had actually pulled out this clutch right here. I'm going to show you guys. And how much eggs does she end up having? Uh, seven like eggs? Six or seven, yeah. No slugs? No so, slugs. as you can see right here, it was a Cypress Mojave bred to an Orange Dream Fire Clown Het Pied. And she had seven eggs. Really excited about that clutch right there. And there we go. Five clutches so far. Good thing our incubator is going to come here in a few weeks because the way things are going, you know, we're going to fill this bad boy up again really, really quick. Man, dude, again, that is so freaking awesome. Things are looking good over here. Hopefully, we hit that 80 clutch mark. Um, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, <laughs> peace. Is.